There are a few more settings I want to talk about here for the panel itself. So if you tap the up arrow here to access the quick toolbar, let's go to the locker. And in the locker where you see any apps that are already installed or any new apps that you installed, there is a small gear where we can access this, the general settings for the panel. Tapping that will bring up this settings menu here. You have the built-in volume, which I believe you can control from the remote as well. And then of course you have volume switches right here. Looks like that just timed out on me. Let's get back to it. I'm actually hearing some sounds now when I'm tapping things. So if I tap locker, it made a little sound. If you don't like that, definitely turn that volume down or in the middle or something like that. You have panel brightness. So all the way dim, all the way bright. Set it where you'd like it. Can help make it easier for students to see. Contrast, I'd recommend leaving it where it's at, but if you find that changing it makes it look better, go ahead by all means. And then you have this option for large mode. So let's go ahead and take a look to see what large mode looks like. Large mode makes all of these buttons bigger. So if you have students that are sitting further back in the room or you want to make things just easier for everyone to see, I would recommend turning large mode on. So we were looking at small mode for the majority of these videos. Again, that was accessible through locker, gear, and then large mode. It's actually called normal mode when it's small. And then we have some more settings. Let's go ahead and take a peek in there. You shouldn't need to mess with pretty much most of this, but there are some options in here. One in specific that I want to talk about is the display options here. If you go to display, you'll see an option for wallpaper. What you would see in here, let's go to wallpaper. It's asking for, there we go, wallpapers. You have a couple set in here just as general defaults that you can choose from. There are only three. The default is the blue one. But you also have a purple one, which purple, Aphrodite, makes sense. You also have a purple one with a, an astronaut and a triceratops. So you've got three to choose from. <clears throat> but if you want to choose your own and kind of add some personality to this, you can actually add from my photos. And if you have a USB drive or something like that, and you want to save a picture from Google or a, from your phone or wherever, you can plug the USB, you should be able to plug it directly into this USB port. And then it will show up on the side here as a separate you know, hard drive. And you can add your own custom image or photo to the wallpaper. Now where the wallpaper displays would be on the home screen. So there's the blue one. Let's go ahead and change it to the purple one. So more settings, display, wallpaper wallpapers there's a lot of tapping and let's go with the purple and set wallpaper you have to hit that set wallpaper option otherwise it does not save and let's go back and make sure that that took there it is now it's purple so definitely would recommend changing that to purple just for some school pride in there and uh, if you want to add a little bit more personality go ahead and add your own custom images to this and change your wallpaper up